This is Tim with the Tesla channel, and this is Zach and Jake behind the camera. And this is a 2021 Model 3 long range. And we're going to show you guys the version 12 update on his Intel Atom chip. So everybody thinks that uh, if you have the Ryzen, the any Ryzen chip in your car, that you get all the cool features for version 12. But we're here to show you that you get all the cool features except for the, the really cool uh, UI of the actual car itself. So let's go ahead and take a look. Inside the, the Model 3, and you can see that he's at version 12 software, full self-driving supervised 12.3.4. His actual software is 2024.14.6. So let's go ahead and take a look at the car itself. Kind of a cool feature that you would have if you had the Ryzen would be you'd actually have this full screen going across here. It would show you this really cool looking car in the middle, very, really neat graphics. That's the only thing you're really missing. Everything else is as advertised. So let's take a look at the, the software update. All right, so here's the uh, the release notes for this. Again, this is the Intel Atom chip. So he's getting um, you know, the standard stuff, the supervised, full self-driving, supervised auto park update. So everybody else is getting this. This is basically auto park update. So it allows you to, uh, while driving at low speed, it's gonna display a potential parking spot. So it's something they had before, but vision, with the vision update, they're kind of doing it more of vision than sensors and stuff. Trip progress bar. So everybody I know, so my Model X with the Ryzen, I get this. And, and you know, everybody with the Intel Atom is gonna get this as well. We have the Audible. So if you're actually a person that likes to listen to books, there you go. Um, Spotify, Q, and playback speed. So this is kind of a neat little thing where um, it wasn't there before with Spotify. They added it. Um, preview recordings with Sentry mode or vice versa. So again, this is if you have a Sentry mode um, issue or warning that comes through your car when you get in, it'll allow you to automatically preview it. So again, if you have a Ryzen chip, it's, it's not just for you. It's for everybody else that has this, the smaller chips as well. Speed chime camera, um, better route available. Wiper controls are a lot easier. Security improvements and other updates where we have here where you, when you're parked, you can expand the browser to full screen. Uh, you can now swipe to delete sentry mode recordings. When on valet mode, you can um, basically, when your vehicle's unlocked or shifted out of park, you're gonna receive a notification on your phone. And then some video um, arcade uh, polytopia on this one. I had a couple extra ones because I had the Ryzen chip. But yeah, so you, as you can see, you're getting everything for the most part that everybody else is getting the Ryzen chip, so you're not left out. You just don't get that full screen animation of here. So we're gonna take a quick drive so you can see what this looks like because it does look pretty cool when you're driving too with the new uh, with the new situation. Here's your wiper. You got a number four there now too. So let's go ahead and buckle in. And uh, you can see now when you start driving, you can actually go ahead and swipe it over. Full screen. And you can see up here the maps on the upper right hand side. You have your speed over here and all your indicators. Um, down below here, you have your music and then all your navigation stuff. And this thing can be moved around in, in different spots. Go ahead and put your blinker on again, real quick. They can move this around here, right here. Yeah, those two spots. Okay. And then now he's, he's uh, you're not full self driving. It's, it's driving itself, right? No, it's full, yeah, full self driving. So how will it know where to go here? I, I just picked the most travel around. Oh, really? Okay. So let's just say we're going to Lloyd's. So like like normal before, like you have like the, the map here and all this stuff you've seen before, but now you can take and swipe this over and look at this freaking it's freaking awesome. Like you have this little blinker thing here, whatever it is. It shows you over here in the map. This is the map. A little visualization right here. Again, here's your music. Here's actual your navigation stuff with your pro trip progress bar. Full self-driving is now driving us. Pretty awesome. A nice and big speed speedometer up here in the left upper left and yeah and then you have your uh, regenerative braking which used to be up here before right or was it down yeah, here? yeah it was up here so now if you uh, if, if it re regen happens it'll it's this little guy right here my son thought it was like some kind of glitch here like there's something wrong with the screen but like, go ahead and like get off a uh, full tilt drive and then go ahead and show regen so you see the green little mark right there pretty awesome go ahead and throw it back on just brakes too oh yeah full so when you break it it goes red no, it goes, uh, you, you'll see. So I'm not using brakes, but if, they, if the car uses brakes instead of... Uh, oh, okay. Green. It kind of shows the black there. Cool, cool. All 
All right, so we're gonna let's, let's go ahead and trip and let's go home. We have home now. Where we yeah, live. I'll take this route. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So let's go, we're gonna go around the block here, and then we'll go back to uh, where we live. But yeah, so this is kind of a cool video to show you guys that even if you have your Intel Atom chip and you're kind of bummed, like you're not gonna get everything everybody else gets with version 12, you still get mostly everything you just don't get the cool visualization of the big like uh, tesla screen there before good job autopilot let's go